lookup counting, what does that even mean in Excel? What it means is we have a column with all sorts of conditions and criteria. And instead of using count ifs to count how many individual zip codes are over here, copying the formula down, and then using the sum function to add up that column, we want a formula in a single cell. Our goal is to count how many employees live in King County. We had to get a list of all the zip codes in King County because we did not have a column in our employee data set that listed county. All we have is zip codes. These are all the conditions and criteria. Here's the counting range. Sounds like the perfect job for the count ifs function. Criteria range, employee zip code, control shift down arrow, control backspace to jump back, to the active cell, comma, criteria range. I'm giving it every single one. That formula we used right there looked at just that one cell. But if I use Control Shift Down Arrow, Control Backspace, now I've given the criteria argument many different conditions or criteria for counting. And once I put multiple items into criteria one, that instructs count ifs to deliver multiple answers. It, in fact, will deliver every one of these counts, including zip codes in King County that had no employees over in the list. It'll deliver that whole list to the cell. Close parentheses, and I'm going to use the F9 key to evaluate this. Look at that. We get the full helper column in our cell. Now, a very important concept in Excel. Notice when we evaluated it using the F9 key, it didn't give us one answer. It gave us an array of answers. Anytime that happens, you know you just made an array calculation. And that's exactly what we want here. Control Z to add the result of an array operation. We don't use the sum function. We use sum product. Sum product is programmed to add calculations without any special keystroke. So I simply hit Enter, and that's our single cell formula. Bonus formula number one. Well, of course, if you're in Office 365 with the new Excel calculation engine, everything's calculated as an array formula, and you don't have to use special functions like sum product to add an array of items. You simply use the sum function and Enter. Now, bonus formula number two, guess what? This is a trick. There really is no bonus formula that I can think of that's more efficient than using sum and count ifs when we're doing lookup adding. Now, if you want to learn more about count ifs and sum ifs, check out this video. And if you want to learn how to do lookup adding, check out the next Excel magic trick.